Hey guys, this is the AeroPress. You've probably seen one or you may already have one. They've been around for quite a few years, but over those years, there's definitely been some iterations, um, additions that can be added to make it one of the most versatile brewers for hot brewing, cold brewing. And I just want to run through a few of these options and I want to introduce you to one of the most recent um, additions, which is the travel cap. So as I said before, the AeroPress has been around for ages and it's something that just goes with me wherever I am. So if I'm on uh, a plane, I've been able to brew or the AeroPress, so traveling camping but also just at mate's house or your everyday brew so it's just something that any good coffee geek has in their kit over the years keep things keep adding and adding to it so I just wanted to take a moment to introduce a few of those to you and see if these are some of the extras that you might want to add and spice up your AeroPress game now, if you're not aware, there are world competitions on the AeroPress and you can customize them. They've come in different colors, um, you know, in lighter plastics, darker plastics. So, you know, you might have one of the original versions out there uh, and you can still get all the parts to keep that thing going. So if you're not sure what is it and how does it work, well, it's pretty simple. When you get it uh, out of the box, you get your AeroPress, which is made up of a cylinder, a plunger and a filter cap. And you can see how easily that goes together. And then you've got a set of paper filters. You get a coffee scoop and a stirrer as well. In the instructions, it tells you to get your cup and pop your paper filter inside the cap and screw it on. Put in your ground coffee and start pouring in some water. And when you've got the right amount of water to coffee, you can pop on your plunger and press down. Now that is the normal AeroPress method. When you start to add that water, you're already starting to brew the coffee. So it's a bit like a pour over because there's nothing really holding back um, the water. It's just gonna go straight through that coffee, start to brew and then make its way through the paper filter. So that's the traditional method. It's not a method that I normally use. You may have heard what's called the inverted method. Now that's a little bit different because it turns it from a pour over style brewer to an immersion brewer. Well, what's the difference? Well, the key part to it is when you invert the AeroPress and pop it in, you're able to now add um, a certain amount of coffee and a certain amount of water. You can use the brewing numbers on the side there to maybe make it one part coffee and three parts water. But then it allows you to stir and bloom possibly the coffee, but also start to allow it to brew for a certain amount of time before you separate the water from the coffee and that's why it's an immersion, immersion brew. The grinds are in the water the whole time. So that's definitely the way I like to use the AeroPress. Um, I tend not to use the paper filters because we would use something like this Able Fine Metal Brewing Disc, which you can simply replace into the cap, pop it on the top. Now, because it is like a bit of a syringe, there is an air pocket, you would basically just push this down till the liquid comes through the top pop on a cup and invert onto your, your cup and press down. Essentially then pushing the water through the coffee into your cup and you're ready to brew. Now you could make that really strong and have um, say four parts of coffee and four parts water, put it into a cup and maybe divide it out to four cups and then top those cups up with hot water and a dash of milk or you can use it to make one big style solid coffee brew to the strength that you choose. So when you get the Able Fine Disc, it does come with a set of instructions and that is how we use the um, inverted method to brew our coffee. So it's a great little guide. Uh, this guide's actually on our website as well with some instructions. If you don't have that information, it's very easy to download. So I know what you're thinking. It's pretty versatile, it's small, compact, and a great little brewer that you can take anywhere. Well, a couple of years later, they brought out the AeroPress Go. So what is it? Well, firstly, you get a brewing cup and it's got a silicon cover on there and the AeroPress is a little bit smaller so you can see that it's got an option between one to three amounts of brewing and it fits perfectly on top of your cup because you know every time I go to have a coffee you know you do need a solid cup with an AeroPress you can't really plunge it into a paper cup in the same kit you do get a little set of filter holders you get a smaller scoop and a smaller stirrer so that you can um, work on your brew and the cap on the bottom or the black cap here is interchangeable from either model and so is the plunger so there's no difference between those two parts caps the same plunger the same yeah cool 
So if you found this AeroPress too big, there is a great solution here in the AeroPress Go, but I do find that's a little bit small for me when I'm trying to brew a larger coffee. So I do always have to brew it into a cup and add a little bit of extra water into it. It is super compact though. So if you do want to be um, a bit more space conscious and have your cup and everything you need, it folds up super small and you've got your cup ready to go. So definitely a great little option. Now, whenever we're brewing, we always talk about fresh ground coffee. And how do you achieve that? Well, we start to add more and more to our kit by having some beans or a way to grind it. One of the best accessories um, in terms of hand grinding is something like this Rhino Compact Grinder. It's actually designed to fit inside the AeroPress so that you can fill that chamber up of the grinder and just take it exactly like that. So you can have fresh ground coffee, super small, super compact, um, and ready to go. So fresh ground coffee, very easy. If you need to, simply just pop that full of beans, pop your handle on and grind off into your bottom little tube and you're ready to brew. So manufacturers started to see how they could really utilize the design of the AeroPress and make it more functional. And then we've got something like the Puck Puck. So you can see over here, we have an AeroPress in the, the body and we've ad added a Puck Puck on top. So if you pop your grinds, a paper filter into here, have it on some sort of stand with a catch cup underneath, you can fill this top chamber with ice and water and pop it on the top and start to do a cold brew. Now the Puck Puck's pretty cool. It comes with an app which allows you to measure the drips just by tapping the screen and then you can get your desired brew recipe. If this cylinder um, of water on the top is too big for you, you can simply unscrew it and this fits normal um, water style bottles. So very easy with the same thread. So you could just take this little cap and your AeroPress and if you've got a bottle of water, you can have a cold brew very simply. To adjust the flow of the Puck Puck, all you have to do is screw this tighter and that will reduce the number of drips that you're gonna get per minute on your brew. Sorry for interrupting, I hope you're enjoying the content and thanks for watching. Have you seen our Home Brewster Manual? This thing has everything in it that we talk about through our YouTube channel as a guide that you can use at home and implement simply to make amazing espresso. It doesn't matter if you've got an entry level machine like this or a high end coffee machine from Italy, it's gonna take your espresso to the next level. We cover things like dialing in a specific recipe for your machine, using some of these really cool tools to eliminate uh, channeling and getting better extraction yields. You're gonna be able to learn how to froth silky milk and pour amazing latte art so that you can impress all of your friends. This um, also has how to clean your machine and care and maintenance. The manual's available on our website as a digital download worldwide. Use the code YTBarista10 and you'll save 10% off our already discounted price. Do yourself a favor, go and download it now. There is one real cool thing that we've got now which is called the travel cap. And I thought, wow, how, how could we actually add anything extra to an AeroPress to make it even better? Well, the travel cap is a silicon cap that unfortunately only fits on the original, it doesn't fit on the go, um, but it allows you to seal up this hole and store in there some beans or, or um, grind ready for you to brew. So that's a pretty cool uh, feature. And we thought, well, how much would you fit in there? How many beans, how much grinds? So I've got some um, whole beans here. So I'm gonna weigh those out and we'll show you how much fits inside this cylinder. All right, so we'll pour these in and see how much we can fit in. There we go, so we can fit about 80 grams of coffee in there in whole bean. All right, that's nice and easy. So let's put some, uh, some fine grind in there and we'll see how much we can fit. All right, so we've just seen we fit uh, nearly 80 grams of beans inside the top of the AeroPress. So take a moment right now and drop a comment below what you think we're gonna fit with some plunger grind coffee. Is it gonna be double, triple? What do you reckon it is that would fit in there? Go on, do it now, drop a comment. All right, I'll give you a moment. Let's put some grind in there and see what we can get. So I'm gonna really pack it in there because you know we're going traveling for a couple of days and we wanna make sure that we can take as much as we possibly can. Give it another fill up and another tap. Get all those fines to go to the very bottom and maybe some of those boulders on the top. Here we go. 
getting desperate. Jam as much as we can in. Ooh. Don't know if you saw what that was. That's pretty close to the end. Let's get this all jammed in here. And look at that. We reckon you can fit 90 grams of coffee in there. Look at that, 90 grams, a little bit on top. Look at that. 90 grams, who would have thought? Weird, hey. So obviously a whole bean weighs more than fine grind. Even the gaps in between there didn't allow us to fit much more in. All right, anyway, so thanks very much, guys. I hope that's helped you see some of the progression of what an aero press can offer you at home. And here's your latest little travel cap. Um, it sits on nice and simple on the top there, allowing you to make that coffee a little bit more portable and take an AeroPress wherever you want to go, around the world, Australia, camping, or even to your mate's place, just so that he doesn't give you instant coffee when you turn up in the morning at his place. Anyway, there's the AeroPress and all the goodies that's available. If you've got any other questions about the AeroPress, hey, leave a comment below. I'll happily answer those and look forward to sharing uh, anything else that happens in the AeroPress world with you because we love the brewer. Everyone loves it. It's been great. Get your hands on one if you haven't. We've got them on our store. Uh, thanks very much for watching, everyone. We'll catch you next time. Cheers.